Hi everyone, this video will show you the dental assistant's responsibilities during a composite procedure. We have a tooth that's already been prepared. We will be working on tooth number 10. It has a class four preparation. The matrix band is already in place. The two trays I have set up, we have a tray of instruments and the tray behind is a tray with the materials needed for the procedure. As we go through the steps, I'll talk through what each item is used for. Before the tooth was prepared, we took a shade match with our shade guide. Remember to do this before the tooth is prepared. If you take a shade match after, you may not get an accurate match because as the teeth dry, they become lighter in color. With the tooth prepared and a matrix band already in place, the doctor is ready for the etchant or the conditioner. Your conditioner is phosphoric acid. So always wear PPE. You would anyways because you're working chair side with a patient but we also have to worry about protection from chemicals such as this acid. Oftentimes we call this conditioner. When you pass this to your operator, hold the tip, direct it towards the tooth. Deliver it so the doctor can hold the plunger. And the doctor will place the etchant on the tooth. In some states, the doctors can allow or delegate this duty to the assistants. So check your state dental practice act. It may be an expanded function. When the doctor is done with the etchant, we retrieve it, again taking the tip and putting it back on our tray. The phosphoric acid, its purpose is to roughen the surface of the tooth. This will allow the bonding material to flow better. It also removes the smear layer. When a tooth is prepared, we get fluids that leak out of the dentin tubules. This conditioner needs to stay on the teeth for 20 seconds. After your 20 seconds is up for the time for the etchant to stay on the tooth, we're going to suction up the bulk of the etchant then we will rinse for 15 seconds and dry for 10 seconds. So it's 20 second etch, 15 second rinse, and 10 second dry. Keep your HVE near the tooth during the whole procedure. Once a tooth has been etched, rinsed, and dried, you're ready for the next material, which is your bonding. This is our primer and bonding agent. We have a combination material here. This is a single bond. We activate it by pressing the circle and pressing the second smaller circle. See those are on the back. Then agitate your brush in and out of that well. You could also use a bottle dispenser and you dispense it into a well and you would have separate microfiber brushes. This gets passed to the doctor. After the doctor places the bonding agent, we can light cure. This material needs to be light cured for 10 seconds. With this curing light, it will beep after every 10 seconds. So it's good practice to stabilize your light and get it close to the tooth without touching it.
the bonding agent acts as an adhesive for the layers of composite to bond to the tooth. Next up is flowable composite. This usually comes in a syringe and we pass it to the doctor. Very similar to the etchant or conditioner. We hold the tip and deliver it into their hand. While the doctor is using the flowable composite, get the explorer ready and a piece of gauze. The doctor would use the explorer to spread that flowable composite into the deeper crevices of the preparation. During this part of the procedure, the doctor often likes to have their instrument wiped. Now, now be careful when you wipe these types of instruments, any sharp instrument, come at the instrument from the side and wipe away from the tip. Pick up the curing light with your other hand and we will light cure this layer of flowable. This flowable material needs to be light cured for a total of 10 seconds. And the doctor uses flowable again to get down to the deeper crevices of the preparation. After the layer of flowable is placed, we can hand the doctor the packable composite. The variety we have comes in this capsule and we need to insert it into this gun. Now we would do that ahead of time, but for demonstration purposes, I'd like to show you how to do that. This particular gun, you stick the tip of the capsule into that hole and just press it so that it comes through the top. Push this plunger in and then swing the handle down. Take the tip off just before you're ready to pass it to the doctor and extrude a small amount out of the tip. That tip is usually hardened. So we get rid of that little hard piece of composite. When you pass this instrument, again, hold the nozzle and we lay the gun handle down into the palm of the doctor's hand. Take away the instrument that they're using and deliver this into the palm of their hand. As they're placing the composite, we pick up the composite placing instrument because once they deliver the composite onto the tooth, they will then need to place it. This double-ended composite placing instrument has a condenser end and a paddle end. This is shaped like a Woodson. On anterior teeth, most doctors prefer the paddle end. So I'll take away the composite gun and deliver the composite placing instrument. As the doctor is packing the composite into the tooth, have gauze in one hand and your bonding agent in the other because the doctor would like their instrument wiped of excess composite and then they often like to dip their instrument into the bonding well that helps prevent the material from sticking to their instrument so we wipe the excess material off the instrument and the doctor will dip their instrument into the bonding agent. So it's a series of wipe, dip, wipe, and dip as they are shaping the composite. When they're satisfied, we take our curing light, and this time we light cure for 20 seconds. This packable composite is thicker, so it takes longer for the light to penetrate to the deeper layers. Use your finger as a fulcrum to stabilize the curing light. So for this one, we have to wait for two beeps on our curing light. There are different curing lights out there that have a more intense light. So just be sure to follow your manufacturer's instructions for the equipment that you are using. Composites are placed in layers, so the doctor would like the packable material back. So I ready my gun, 
I take away their instrument and deliver the material back into their hand. They'll place another layer. We hand the composite placing instrument back. Be ready to wipe the instrument and have that bonding agent handy so the doctor can dip their instrument. And again, they'll place, shape, we wipe, dip, they'll place and shape, we wipe the instrument and they'll dip it into the bonding agent. When they're satisfied, we'll pull the strip over to help shape the restoration and we'll light cure again. And again, this one is for 20 seconds. After the filling is placed, we can remove the matrix system and then the doctor can finish and polish the restoration. So I did not have an operator here, so we don't have a filling placed, but they'll use a series of burrs and polishing points, and they may even use a lightning strip since this is a proximal restoration. And this is what the lightning strip looks like. You would pass this to the operator, to the dentist, they'll take it, and they'll floss it between the teeth. How it works is you floss it between the teeth and it's rough, it's like sandpaper, and the doctor will slide it back and forth on the teeth to smooth the interproximal side of the restoration. So that is something the doctor does. I just wanted to demonstrate how that works. This particular lightning strip or interproximal strip is disposable, but they do come in metal that can be autoclaved. After the procedure is complete, we can finish up with the patient, give them a complete mouth rinse to remove any dust or debris from their mouth, as well as deliver any post-op instructions for them. Please keep in mind for any procedure, there's bound to be differences between operators. They'll have their own preferred set of instruments and materials, but in general, these are the steps that are performed. Thank you for watching. I hope this has helped you understand the dental assistant's role a little better for composite procedures.